Nicola Sturgeon's refusal to resign after she was found to have misled the Scottish Parliament will result in election humiliation, Scottish Tory leader Douglas Ross has warned, vowing to bring down the SNP and end 14 years of misery. During the last Scottish election in 2014, the SNP suffered humiliation after being reduced to a minority government winning 61 out of the 129 available seats in the Holyrood Parliament. Scotland's ruling party is hoping to reverse that trend and gain a majority in the upcoming election on May 6, and has vowed to use such a result as a mandate to press ahead with a second referendum on Scottish independence. But the SNP has come under huge pressure over recent weeks, with Ms Sturgeon's political rivals demanding she resign after she was found to have misled the Scottish Parliament over her knowledge of harassment complaints against former First Minister Alex Salmond. Douglas Ross, leader of the Scottish Conservatives, has warned Ms Sturgeon's refusal to stand down from her position could backfire badly against the SNP and result in election humiliation. He told Express.co.uk, there is a lack of trust around the SNP and Scottish government, which Sturgeon has led for the last number of years. Dot, dot. There has been failure after failure from the SNP government over the last 14 years, and we can do so much better than that. We brought forward a vote of no confidence because the cross-party committee said she had misled Parliament, and it is right the main opposition party in Scotland hold the government and its ministers to account. Nicola Sturgeon is refusing to resign and is seeking another term as First Minister, but we can't let that go unchecked. She has apologised on behalf of her government for the failings and when this is challenged, it's right for the Scottish Conservatives to hold the government to account. We're not afraid to stand up against the SNP, but it's a shame the opposition parties don't feel as strongly as we do. The SNP are not willing to accept responsibility for failings and they are letting Scotland down. We need to unite behind the strongest party to stop them doing that again. The Scottish Conservative leader warned Ms Sturgeon could backtrack on a mandate promise he had vowed to be a top priority because her desire to Scotland from the rest of the UK will overtake all else. Thank <laughs> you.